tasting like a boss outside edition camera facing the other way edition because it is so bright uh, that when I was trying to shoot it just a few seconds ago I had this orb of light the Sun peering over my head so it looked like I was a saint and uh, I didn't want to get all religious on everybody today so anyway today is a special day because there's a lot of firsts this will be a coffee three-way review that's not a first but I'm wearing something Celtic why well, because of the flavor we're going to be trying today. I decided to keep it Celtic as well. Uh, but more importantly, this is going to be the first time we have ever reviewed a in-store bought Bones Coffee Company flavor. This is Highland Grog. Now, for those who do not know or haven't well, looked at any other reviews, I get Bones Coffee a lot. I get it from Bones itself. Usually the packaging looks like this. This is a whole bean thing of s'morey time. As you can see, the graphics are done with a sticker that's put on the outside of the bag. Uh, a little bone signature in the back. And I love Bones Coffee. Like I said, I usually get it whole bean so that I'm able to um, uh, grind it coarser for cold brew, medium for drip, and fine for espresso. Uh, and that's how we do the three-way reviews. I have had something from Bones before which came pre-ground. And I don't feel that it, because it was pre-ground, that it really compromised the flavor that was their angel of music uh thing but i usually like to stick to the whole ground but i was at my local Publix, which is a grocery store here in florida and they had this bag as you can see the packaging is different the the graphic is completely printed onto the bag itself uh, i know this sounds like a lot of stupid things to focus on but for people who care now that's what this is for so as you see the labels all the way around it's not just stuck on also, little nice touches. You got the little tartan on the side. That's pretty sweet on both sides. They still have the same pull tag, which I think is supposed to replicate a bone. Uh, pulls through. Uh, it's gone now because I've already pulled it through. So I think that's, oh, there you go. It's got that little tag at the end. Kind of looks like a bone. That may not even be intentional, but if it is, well done. But also on the back, which I think is cute, because I've never even thought about this before. It's got this little smell me. Squeeze and smell. Uh, now, they all have vents, even the ones you get from the, the store. I mean, from the uh, website. But I don't usually squeeze them to smell them. But, you know, you actually can. Here, I didn't notice until I got it home. But it's kind of cool. And if you squeeze it, you do get the smell. And the taste of this is considered to be their rum-flavored butterscotch and caramel flavor. Now, differencing on the, uh, the, the cover is, besides it being bigger... Uh, looks as if their flavors, they're listing the actual type of flavor here. So for regular Highland Grog, I don't think it says anything at all. It might say it on the description on the website, but when you get the graphic, it doesn't say it here. It, it says it. So for, you know, uh, I really like Bones Coffee. So what I'm about to say is not a knock on their coffee. It's more of a elevation of their graphics department. Uh, the only thing better than the Bones Coffee that I've had is every time their graphics department brings it. So enough about that. Let's change over to uh, oh, and price. Price wasn't bad, but here's another thing. It doesn't come. It doesn't come a whole bean. It comes pre-ground. So we're gonna have that same issue. Meaning for those people who are purists, you know, I haven't seen that they sell whole bean yet. Um, it only comes ground that I can tell in the stores. So if you're a purist and you want to be able to grind your own beans, obviously that may be something you consider, but you know, I think I just want to support this company. It's a Florida company. It's from Cape Coral, Florida. Uh, and where I found this in this particular uh, Publix, and just in case you go to a Publix, apparently there are like 250 different Publixes in the state. And I found it at the end cap that was focusing on Florida companies. They have some other coffees, uh, which I may have to review at some point, hot sauces, honeys, things like that. So I was just really happy to see this. And I think the bag's really kind of cool. So there you go. So let's start off with trying it cold brew. This is a brew of uh, uh, over 12 hours in the refrigerator. Of course, not coarsely ground, just a regular grind. Let's see how we go. Tasting like a boss. I really do like it. Um, the caramel and butterscotch flavors uh, are high. You know, the one bad thing about this review is I have never tried Highland Grog outside of the store. 
but the flavor intensity is very good here. Uh, I could see myself drinking this. I think I like this better than the salted caramel, which has the little salt bay guy on it, though I like that image a lot. I think I like this one more. I don't know if it's because of the butterscotch, but, oh, and by the way, the smell is incredible um, on this one. Uh, so you don't lose anything in the transport of the beans to the store and everything else. Uh, when I opened the bag, I was hit with the smell. It was great. When I was brewing it, I could really, really smell it. Um, not so much the cold brew, but when I was doing the, the drip. So thumbs up on the cold brew. Let's move over to the uh, regular drip, which is what I know most of you probably do. As you know, I'm not a, a big regular drip kind of guy. And yes, I'm going to use a Bones mug. It seems more and more as if I'm paid by Bones. I'm not. I just like their stuff. So here we go. Tasting like a boss. Auto drip. Solid cup of coffee. You get the caramel and butterscotch notes there. Unfortunately, I'm spoiling myself whenever I start with a cold brew because you can taste the flavor so much more in a cold brew. Uh, but this is a really solid cup of coffee. But, you know, for for me, I don't think I'm going to buy Highland Grog to, to make drip when I can have cold brew. But uh, if I wanted to have a nice solid cup of coffee that had caramel and butterscotch notes, I'd give that a thumbs up too. So, moving on to the espresso, and of course, this is where we really get into the compromise, right? Because I can't get it finely ground. Um, oh, and yes, that was a, a Taylor Swift little mug, so I thank my daughters and my wife for that. It's their mug. Although I seem to use it more than they do. All right, so this is the espresso shot. I don't hate it. Um, it it does alter the flavor. Uh, typically, when I make things espresso, I say that it has like a burnt flavor. That's not what happens here. Here, it actually accentuates the sour notes, which really weren't even present on either the cold brew or the or the drip. This is actually pulling some sour notes out. And typically, I don't like that at all. I don't like having that sour flavor in my coffee. But here, it's not as offensive. Um, actually, it's pretty good. It's it's almost like it's just a completely different type of coffee. I don't. I wouldn't call it espresso. I don't exactly know what I call it. A lot like Angel of Music. I could see this being an okay. Well, this would be an okay, an okay after dinner little tiny espresso where someone goes, hey, what's this? They, they would probably definitely ask you. Um, but uh, I think if I was making it and I was trying to pick one for a dessert after espresso, I'd still go th with the Angel of Music, which is their chocolate eclair flavor. Uh, so the way I, way I rank them is this. This is interesting. Maybe do this if you've got like a Irish guy like me coming over uh, or if you've got a, uh, somebody who wants something different so you can show off your Highland Grog bag. So this I, I give eh, five, five and a half out of 10. On the drip, you know, I give it, that's not a six and a half, seven. That's, that's, a, that's a pretty darn good cup of coffee. I probably should give it higher, it's just, it's not my thing. But on the cold brew, Mm, I, I give that, that's a good nine, nine and a half. That's up there with one of their best ones. So hopefully that helps. Uh, and if you're in Florida or you find yourself in Publix, uh, even if you have your Bones coffee that you get from their website, which I know I'm going to continue to do, I think I'm going to go out of my way and get it at the store as well. Because if it allows people to uh, expand their, their base, especially for companies out of the state that I love, and is, which is my home, uh, uh, that's what I'll do. So Highland Grog. So should have read this out. Put on your kilt and break out the bagpipes for a truly exceptional cup of coffee. Spiced rum flavor with notes of butterscotch and caramel will have your inner Highlander gleaming with joy. Well, 
I seem to be beaming with joy. So I'm going to have a great rest of the rest of my Sunday. Hopefully you do as well. Keep tasting like a boss.